function? Yeah, that is correct. And, and Senator Paul, you do not know what you are talking about, quite frankly. And I want to say that officially. You do not know what you are talking about. Let's okay, you get NIH. one person. Let's read from the NIH I, can I answer of gain the of function. This is your definition that you guys wrote. Dr. Fauci, as you are aware, it is a crime to lie to Congress. Section 1001 of the U.S. Criminal Code creates a felony and a five-year penalty for lying to Congress. On your last trip to our committee on May 11th, you stated that the NIH has not ever and does not now fund gain-of-function research in the Wuhan Institute of Virology. And yet, gain-of-function research was done entirely in the Wuhan Institute by Dr. Xi and was funded by the NIH. I'd like to ask unanimous consent to insert into the record the Wuhan virology paper entitled Discovery of a Rich Gene Pool of Bat SARS-Related Coronaviruses. Please deliver a copy of the journal article to Dr. Fauci. In this paper, Dr. Xi credits the NIH and lists the actual number of the grant that she was given by the NIH. In this paper, she took two bat coronavirus genes, spike genes, and combined them with a SARS-related backbone to create new viruses that are not found in nature. These lab-created viruses were then shown to replicate in humans. These experiments combine genetic information from different coronaviruses that infect animals, but not humans, to create novel artificial viruses able to infect human cells. Viruses that in nature only infect animals were manipulated in the Wuhan lab to gain the function of infecting humans. This research fits the definition of the research that the NIH said was subject to the pause in 2014 to 2017, a pause in funding on gain of function. But the NIH failed to recognize this, defines it away, and it never came under any scrutiny. Dr. Richard E. Bright, a molecular biologist from Rutgers, described this research in Wuhan as, the Wuhan lab used NIH funding to construct novel chimeric SARS-related coronaviruses able to infect human cells and laboratory animals. This is high-risk research that creates new potential pandemic pathogens, potential pandemic pathogens that exist only in the lab, not in nature. This research matches, these are Dr. E. Bright's words, this research matches, indeed epitomizes, the definition of gain-of-function research done entirely in Wuhan, for which there was supposed to be a federal pause. Dr. Fauci, knowing that it is a crime to lie to Congress, do you wish to retract your statement of May 11th where you claimed that the NIH never funded gain-of-function research in Wuhan? Your microphone. Senator Paul, I have never lied before the Congress, and I do not retract that statement. This paper that you are referring to was judged by qualified staff up and down the chain as not being gain of function. So what was, let me take, finish. You take an animal virus and you increase its yeah. transmissibility to humans, right. you're saying that's not gain of function? Yeah, that is correct. And, and Senator Paul, you do not know what you are talking about, quite frankly. And I want to say that officially. You do not know what you are talking about. Let's okay, you get NIH. one person. Let's read from the NIH, NIH definition I of gain question? of function. This is your definition that you guys wrote. It says that scientific research that increases the transmissibility among mammals is gain of function. They took animal viruses that only occur in animals and they increased their transmissibility to humans. How you can say that is not gain of function. It is not. It's a dance and you're dancing around this because you're trying to obscure responsibility for four million people dying around the world okay. from a pandemic. And let's let Dr. Fauci. I have to, well, now you're getting into something. If the point that you are making is that the, the, the grant that was funded as a sub-award from EcoHealth to Wuhan created SARS-CoV-2. That's where you are getting. 
Let me finish. We don't know. Well, we don't wait know a minute. If it didn't I come can, from the lab, but all you, the evidence is pointing that it came from the lab. You, and there will be responsibility for those who funded the right. lab, including yourself. I totally this committee resent, will allow the witness to. Respond. I totally resent the lie that you are now propagating, Senator, because if you look at the viruses that were used in the experiments that were given in the annual reports that were published in the literature, it is molecularly impossible. No one's saying those it, viruses it is, caused it. It no is, one is molecularly. That those virus caused the pandemic. What we're alleging is that gain of function research was going on in that lab and NIH funded it. That you is can't not. Get away from it. It meets your definition and you are obfuscating the truth. I'm Senator not Paul, obfuscating the truth. Senator you Paul's are the one. Time is expired, but I will allow the witness to. Let finish. me just finish. I want everyone to understand that if you look at those viruses, and that's judged by qualified virologists and evolutionary biologists. Those viruses are molecularly impossible no one's to result they are. No in SARS-CoV-2. No one's saying those viruses the pandemic. Paul, we're saying they are gain-of-function viruses because they were they're animal not. viruses that became more transmissible in human, and you funded it. And you, you admit the truth. And you implying... Senator Paul, your time has expired, and I will allow witnesses right. who come before this committee to respond. And, and you are implying that what we did was responsible for the deaths of individual I totally resent that. that. Have and if anybody is lying been. here, Senator, it is you. Uh, Senator Smith. 